I like Harry Potter. Can you tell? Ugh. In general, I love franchises I can insert myself into. Most recently, I really got into Star Trek, but obviously one of my favorite franchises of all time is The Wizarding World. And calling it Harry Potter World just doesn't make sense because he's not the only wizard in the franchise, you dummy. Potter? Potter. 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 So when Hogwarts Legacy was announced three years ago, I was obviously excited. <laughs> We are finally getting the Hogwarts letter we've been waiting for since we were all 11 years old. Like, look at this photo of me on Halloween when I was 10. I have been a fan of this franchise my entire life. I love both Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts. The, the first one, not the other two. They're shit. But I just love the Wizarding World overall, mostly for escapism from this hellhole we call life. But I also hate it at the same time. Because I know in the back of my mind when reading the books, watching the movies are just simply holding one of my noble collection wands. The person who wrote these stories hates me and the people I love for no other reason than just wanting to live their lives. I'm here for all of the witches. <laughs> but I'm not talking about human rights hating turfs. So. Let's just focus on Harry Potter for right now. And since I've been a fan of the series for almost my entire life, I have accumulated some some stuff. All my books right here, then I have, uh, some necklaces and stuff I got off Etsy. I think I got this for Christmas one year. All my movies. Then, this is cool. This is my most recent thing. I turned my unofficial Harry Potter spellbook into an actual cool-looking spellbook with reflective spines and stuff. And I have a bunch of, uh, Noble Collection wands that are, uh, Honestly, a waste of money. <laughs> waste of money, waste of money, waste of money, waste of money, waste of money. And obviously I have some video games. Every Harry Potter movie has had a video game based on it at some point. I would be drowning in Harry Potter games if I did them all today, so I'm only doing about 10. Some of them are good, some of them are just really bad, and some are just weird. Inflatus! But out of all of the Harry Potter games on the market, which one should we start with? What, not what you were expecting? Harry Potter Puzzles and Spells. You complete puzzles to unlock new spells, collect fantastic beasts, mix potions, all kinds of magical fun things. To complete said puzzles, you have to get a certain amount of things in a given amount of tries. Could be either the house crests, beans, platform nine and three quarters tickets, or just chocolate frogs. And all the stages are different scenes from the movies. I mean, I barely got through the Philosopher's Stone, but I'm assuming it could go as far as Deathly Hollows Part 2, but I don't care enough to bother. Nice work. These character models make me uncomfortable. Oh look, you can edit your avatar! who I affectionately named Trash. And this is what Trash looks like. <laughs> and get this, you can put banners behind your character and there's a number of pride flags, including the trans one. Does she know about this? And if she doesn't, don't tell her. We need to keep this a secret between us girlies. Shh. This one really wasn't bad at all. It doesn't try to trick you in any way on what's going on. Unlike some iOS games. Have you ever seen an ad online for a game, but then when you download that game, it looks nothing like the ad? It's a good Candy Crush clone for Harry Potter fans, and just like Candy Crush, it's hella addictive. You know, I'll gladly keep this game on my phone. Until I need more memory space, and then I'll delete it. Okay, okay, fine, let's move on to a more well-known game then. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on the Game Boy Advance. Trick tricked you. Philosopher's Stone on the GBA is a top-down RPG in the same vein as the Game Boy Legend of Zelda's. It was also distributed by EA Games. More like e You go room to room, learning spells. Yeah. That. Right. And fighting... what what are these? Aliens? I never really thought about aliens existing in the wizarding world. Would they have magic? 
If they don't, would wizards consider them muggles? And if the Wizarding World's universe muggles have their own first contact situation with said magical aliens, then would the regular wizards integrate with muggles? I have so many questions. Harry walks painfully slowly. The attack button is delayed so you easily get hit by fast moving enemies. And I hate it. Moving on! And this next game technically no longer exists. Just like puzzles and spells being a Candy Crush ripoff. I want everything to be perfect for my Dudley special day. Harry Potter Wizards Unite is an absolute Pokemon Go ripoff. I can't play it anymore since it shut down in January 2022. I did play this game when it came out and uh, I don't really remember much about it since I deleted it straight after. Unlike Pokemon Go where you can catch the Pokemon and use said data in other Pokemon games via Pokemon Home, with Wizards Unite I was just wasting my limited amount of data to just really do nothing. And the trailers for it looked better than the game turned out to be. <laughs> So that's probably why they didn't stick around very long. I am Madam Hooch, your teacher. No, you ain't! This game is not great. Philosopher's Stone on the PS1 is not the best game to look at. Are these supposed to be people or malnourished Muppets? <laughs> and the low quality of the graphics gave birth to this! Hello, Harry, it's me, Hagrid. No, you ain't! This is the very game that the Hagrid meme comes from, and I hate him because he sends an 11 year old boy over pits of lava to gather fire seeds for a carnivorous, flying, fire breathing dragon. Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? <laughs> So anyway, at the start we get a storybook introduction summarizing the beginning of the first book. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful step-parents, the Dursleys. Step-parents? I'm pretty sure it's his aunt and uncle, but um, I wouldn't know uh, from what source material to get that information from. Where where would we go for that, uh, for the, for the fact check? Yeah, these are the same slides from the GBA game, just reused, upscaled, and put into a book animation. And I'm actually a fan of this old art style. Bing, bang, boom, we're in the main hall, and Dumbledore, for some reason, personally tells me the school announcements that he's supposed to stay in the Great Hall. Welcome to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. I am <laughs> Albus Dumbledore, your headmaster. Uh, the third floor corridor is out of bounds to everyone who does not wish to suffer a most painful death. Yeah, Harry, you can explore, except don't, because you'll fucking die. It's a puzzle collectathon platformer where you go around the castle progressing through the story and learning new spells. Keep trying. Oh dear. That was good. Excellent. Right. It really makes me feel like a true wizard. And after you learn the spells, you have to complete these long, empty dungeons with badly controlled platforming. And you know the whole, uh... Hogwarts is full of secrets, Harry. So search behind every door. But keep in mind, not all secrets are rewarding. Almost every door is locked unless you're actively completing the story. It really isn't a good game by any means, but I can't completely knock it because it's Harry Potter and it's fucking weird. Okay, I've been looking at Philosopher's Stone for the majority of this video and I'm getting tired of it, so uh, let's move on to something different. Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4. Uh... Look, Lego games are good, okay? but. They can just be a snooze fest sometimes. That's why I haven't been able to do another LEGO games video. They're just so similar and boring. I just felt like falling asleep through the majority of the beginning levels because the Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets are the most boring in the series to me. It does only take about two hours to finish one year. It's not too bad if you want to get to the better movies like Prisoner of Azkaban. That is until your game glitches and this troll spawns in front of this door preventing you from continuing. 
and the customization is pretty lame. I wanted to make some Fantastic Beast characters because they don't really have a LEGO game besides the LEGO Dimensions story pack, but out of all the options, who was I able to make? I was able to make Ezra Miller. The guy in that bar declared himself as a Nazi. I have it on film and he attacked me. Okay, this next one is also a weird one. This is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 for 2011 Java and Brew cell phones. Look, I would say it sounds like garbage, but how can I write silence? It looks more like an SNES game than anything. And obviously, I can't play this, but judging by the footage alone, I don't want to. Puzzles and Spells was good, so let's see if there's any other gems on the iPhone. Hi, I'm Bonnie Wright. And I'm Ivana Lynch. And we're here to tell you about a game that lets you experience the magic of Hogwarts for yourself. Starting it up, we get a really well-made animated intro. Congratulations! We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. And you can design your own character, choose your own house, and finally get to explore Hogwarts. Only... horizontal, though. How could this possibly go wrong? And now I can't afford it, can I? Look! We lo we've run out of points. Out of energy, one point of energy recharges every four minutes. Wait for your energy to recharge or buy 30 more now. Yeah, I think I'll wait. Yeah, it's wonderful, amazing, dare I say magical. Yes, I love the magic of long wait times. So I, of course, deleted this from my phone and swore to never speak of it again. Lego Harry Potter years five through seven. <laughs> This one has to be the superior one out of the two. But unfortunately, they're the same game, but based on the most interesting movies. And the graphics are way better to look at. Everything except one thing. Oh, Jesus! For some reason, they made the pads to activate the character customization so bright that you can't see anything. What is this? We have to go back to Ezra Miller now. I claim my Ninth Amendment rights to not be unlawfully persecuted for a crime of no designation. Disorderly conduct being something I am unguilty of. You want to fight? Is that the deal? Harry Potter Magic Awakened is everything Hogwarts mystery should have been. The art style is really nice and looks like the updated book covers. Professor McGonagall kind of looks like a skeleton though. Welcome to Hogwarts! You can freely move around areas you're currently in and there's cutscenes. I've always been different. I can't explain it, but strange things happen when I'm around. It doesn't bother me, not anymore. I'm used to the stairs, the whispers. And there's voice acting. I suppose you want to know my name. Fine. It's Cassandra Vole. Happy? I'll find right where you belong. By looking between. Was that? It is very impressive for a mobile game. And yeah, unfortunately, it did take up a lot of memory on my phone. It's really a League of Legends type card game where each card you play is a different spell. Spiders. Incendio. Inflitus. Well, well. Someone knows how to do. They have these really cute animations for every one of them, and the spiders have to be my favorite. <laughs> I love it. Don't get me wrong, the game is really well made, but it's not really my thing. So if you like card game based combat, then this is the game for you. Obviously, I wanted to save this for last. I played the PS4 version that I checked out from my local library. I'm supporting my local library, folks, not a turf. Take that, just kidding. I had to cover up the library's logos so i didn't dox myself <laughs> this is the game every harry potter fan has been waiting for hogwarts legacy is an immersive open world rpg the character you make is a new fifth year student who holds the key to an ancient secret magic that threatens to tear the wizarding world apart so i guess it's pretty normal for 15 year olds to get manipulated by older men to save the world with their mysterious magical powers 
Uh, the Wizarding World really isn't safe for anybody, is it? You could just be walking to Charms class on a normal Monday afternoon, and a huge fucking snake with a literal death stare comes around the corner and kills you. And speaking of not safe for anyone, the game starts with a man getting eaten by a dragon. Making them see death and traumatizing them to the point where they can now see Thestrals. Like, damn bro, I'm just trying to go to school. We can finally experience and explore the grounds of Hogwarts the first time. The castle and its grounds take inspiration from both the books and the movies, but set in the 1800s and not the 80s and 90s. The designers put so much detail into this. You could literally read lines from the books and they will line up completely. And I'm not gonna show much of the story, if at all, because you should probably play the game for yourself if you already haven't. I picked Hufflepuff, of course, because we live in a literal greenhouse and grow so many herbs. So if you don't like Hufflepuff, you're lost. More for us, I guess. And you can go to Azkaban in an exclusive mission. And I obviously played a little bit of the other houses and I loved the detail. You have a big now, day ahead of you tomorrow. And get I shall be back in the morning you have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. tomorrow. You, I shall be back in the morning you, to Professor collect Weasley. you for your wealth. We don't really see much of the Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw common rooms in the books or movies, so it is really cool to witness them for the first time in explorable 3D space. But before that, you can choose between either a witch or a wizard in the position of the main character. The customization is heavily extensive. You can choose between a more feminine or masculine voice, and said voices are played by Amelia Gething and Sebastian Croft, who I know from Heartstopper. And yes, I do only hear Ben every time I hear the male character talk. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. You know, if you're trying to keep it quiet, you should probably stop acting so gay then. What in Merlin's <sighs> name are you doing? Ugh, tuss tuss peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone! <laughs> Her name is Persephone! <laughs> That's really not funny. What's that you've got there? Might this sudden visit to the wand maker have something to do with our mutual pursuit? I have no idea what you're talking about. That repository is my birthright! You don't have to be such a bitch about it. Oh, and my favorite part has to be flying on a broom. <laughs> you can explore so much of the map very easily while you're just flying around on your broomstick and marking those flu flames. And just FYI, if you only have a PS4 like I do, prepare for slow loading screens and slow loading doors. This was definitely not made for the PS4, or any other console besides the PS5. Oh yeah, and this is apparently less lethal than the Killing Curse. <laughs> this is the Wizarding World game we've all been waiting for. And I would play more of this game, but I would have to get my own copy at this point because I think I hogged my local library's copy for way too long. Bye Hogwarts Legacy. You were fun. It's gone. At least try to find it at your local secondhand store or from your local library like I did. It is really simple not to give her money straight to her turf wallet. That sounds like a euphemism, but I... She's a turf and she has a wallet with money in it. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying. And yeah, that is it. 10 Harry Potter video games. And every prop that I have used that has been official, um, like my Noble Collection wands and my book. My books are mostly secondhand. Um, Noble Collection, I bought way before all this controversy happened. And I will not be buying any more official merch. So, anyway, I love Harry Potter and I believe it belongs to the community now. Thank you, bye. The guy in that bar declared himself as a Nazi. I have it on film and he attacked me.